Hi, Nick Houston here for Gotham Sound and Communications. I'm with Chris Spar from DPA Microphones. Um, we've got something new and exciting. It's the device. Chris, tell us about it. Yes, so we have the new device. Uh, it's a little two-channel uh, mobile interface, basically. So two channels, a high-quality preamp and A to D conversion. Uh, the ability to basically put any two of our microdot microphones, which is really the body-worn mics all the way up to the field production microphones, the shotguns and things like that, uh, all terminate in microdot. Um, two of those into here, and then out of this, either into your Apple product, uh, iOS device, your phone, your iPad, um, or USB into your laptop. So, and it's 114 dB of dynamic range inside for the A to D conversion. Uh, so, we basically can do a, a studio quality recording with this little device now and a couple of our microphones. What kind of software are you bundling with that? Um, so, we have an app for it, and I'll grab it on my phone here. Oh, great. Uh, we do have a setup app for it that allows you just to set up the initial parameters of it. Um, like gain, gain um, high pass filters, uh, whether it's mono or stereo or dual mm -hmm. mono. And then you can use really any app you want to do the recording, whether it's your video app on your phone, any kind of audio recording app. Um, it, this acts as a, um, a core audio device. Mm -hmm. So it just shows up on your phone as if it's the built-in microphone, mm -hmm. and then you can use whatever you want to record with. So, awesome. Yeah, which is great. And can we plug a microphone in and see how sure, it works? absolutely. So let's plug in a lavalier really quick. Thank you. So as soon as you plug the device in, the, of course the app just recognizes it, and then it knows we have a single uh, microphone plugged in at this point. I yeah, see, look at that. I there see, it is. see it exactly. And you just set up the uh, the gain control like this. There's a high pass filter. Again, mono, stereo, or dual mono, and a couple of presets. Uh, if you do want to set up a preset for, let's say the first preset is, is just a single microphone lavalier, the second mm -hmm. preset is an interview with two lavaliers, um, whatever you want to do. Uh, once you get all the um, settings done, you basically lock it out. There's a little lock button on here, so that whenever you do open your recording app, your video recording or your audio recording app, it can't overwrite um, all the settings that you've already done. Mm -hmm. So this, you, you kind of set a thing up, you lock it out, and nothing's going to affect it really. Uh, and then there's a monitor button on here as well that it will, of course, allow you to monitor for your headphone output. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And who do you envision uh, the market is for this? Um, we're thinking mobile journalism probably initially. Um, the, the reporters that are out in the field in uh, some areas either where they can't have full uh, crews with them um, or just you know a quick run and gun reporting thing where they need a high quality audio into their phone and their phone is now their, their reporting device basically. Mm -hmm. um, so we think it's going to be a lot of mobile journalism but it's, it's, it's going into you know, TV and film production, you know, guys that need to mic something up that uh, you can't really have an, an entire rig on, on the person's back. Maybe they're on a mic, uh, on a motorcycle and you just have to kind of mic them up real quick and the motorcycle takes off. You don't want to have a whole rig on their back, but you can drop this in their phone, in their pocket, hit record and away you go. Uh, or even stereo music recording stuff, you know, because now we can plug in our high-end uh, dedicate line to this and do an orchestra recording if you want to, either on your phone or on your laptop without having to bring a whole rig with you. Do you think it would work with uh, Facebook Live and live streaming and all that? Exactly. The podcast stuff, all the live streaming, anything, I mean, any of that stuff. It, it, again, it's really any app that you want to do, whether it's a, a, um, a broadcasting app, a video recording, an audio recording app. So any of the podcasting stuff and, and live streaming stuff would be great for it, yeah. Awesome. And when can we expect it? Uh, we're thinking the end of May. So um, as far as we know, that we're on track for that. Absolutely. Awesome. All right. Chris, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it.